to tell a story if you want to hear a story. Yeah. <clears throat> so the tanks were support. You never drove a tank or anything? I drove the gym on them. They're support. You know, if you're an infantry guy, they're the tankers, we're the infantry. So you just stay, you just sit on them going across whatever, whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. and we, we use them as support. And we had a time, or there was a movie made out of it, it was called Friendly Fire. Uh, uh, Carol Burnett and Ned Beatty. Uh, 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 it was the only true movie I've ever seen. I mean, the movie that made sense to me of Vietnam. Yeah. And it happened to us. We are there. We went into a firefight, and there, it, it, they had a bunch, there was a, quite a few VC or, you know, NBA, whatever they were. So we got to back up and then call in uh, firepower from the tanks, and which we did. And they got, we had a new FO, which is a forward observer, which is the first lieutenant usually, usually a rookie type of person. And just, you know, just first time out there. Ah, so he calls in the, uh, you know, whatever you call it, the coordinates for the, for the, uh, ah, where, where these things got to land. Because mm -hmm. we had pulled back. So ah, he calls it in and he goes, you know, give me this, give me that, drop 10, drop 10 for effect. Which he did. The first one just, you could, you could, you could, you could hear these things when they get close. Mm hmm he dropped the first one. I swear to God, it's only like 10, 10 meters ahead of us. And we just you put your head down and get the, He already said drop 10, drop 10. Uh-huh. You get it? Yeah. <laughs> Next one's on us. Oh, shit. We just scramble like a son of a bitch, get the hell back. And we get back. <laughs> Here comes the next one. It's already in the air. I mean, you yeah. can't stop this shit. Because he, he just he screwed up. Here it comes, boom! Yeah, we get back, get back, get back. There's another one coming. Get back, get back. Here it comes, hits us. Hey, I don't know if you've ever seen it. I still have this, this scrap metal in there. Really? I just by chance. I'm wearing. I because I, I only had like two months to go, so that you know you don't you don't do as much when you get. You know, down uh, you know, the street, you know, what they call short. Uh -huh. ah, not too many days ago. So I was carrying a radio for the captain. Get down with the rest of them. I get this piece of shrapnel. It would have gone right through me. Easily gone right through me. But it hit the radio on my back. Wow. I still have the shrapnel in there. Still have it. It's huge. Wow. Uh, ah. And, uh, that the radio saved my life. Just, you know, you, I couldn't even pick it up for half an hour. So it just, obviously, it's hot metal, it just exploded. Yeah. And it was uh, quite a, I should have been dead. I mean, why I'm not, I don't know. But it's a true story, and I I kept the shit that's in there. You have to show it sometime. But didn't I show it to you? <clears throat> no, you never but told I, me about it. It's in there right now. I swear to God, it's about three inches long, at least, and jagged. Oh, yeah, it was, uh, I was quite lucky, obviously. How I was, was quite lucky for a year. How was the radio? What? How was the radio? <laughs> it <just> fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, oh, yeah, you know, you see shrapnel, you know. Uh, uh, usually they're, you know, like this big, so I'm like, this fucking thing is like that big. Oh, rip me up or I would have. Yeah. Lucky. Oh, boy, I was lucky for a year. Yeah, uh, other guys weren't. Uh, that's why I got a bronze star with a V, because other guys got hurt and I had to help. Wow. Yeah, just the way, way it is. Oh, no, no, there's, there's plenty of guys with other stories better than mine. Yeah. Uh, 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 but uh, 
And we, we went through a lot of shit. We really did. Yeah, they used to cut their ears off, right? Yeah, that is a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> I told you that one story about the guy we had to have flown out. Because yeah. he put a full round, a full magazine in a dead VC guy. <laughs> was going to die anyway. I, he was uh -huh. going to die. There's no doubt. I mean, he's down. He's out. This guy, we had one week with us. He wasn't even drafted. He was, uh, uh, he joined. He was only like 18 years old. Volunteer? Yeah, yeah he was volunteer. Okay, but he had, no, he, he had no business out there because he didn't know how to handle himself. Uh. <laughs> put a full mag, well, full magazine. You never put, you never put the full 20 rounds in a magazine. You only put 18 because of the jamming situation. Uh, M16s used to jam. Uh, if you put the you know, filled magazine with 20. Yeah. Anyway, he put 18 in this guy's head. It was just. Uh, our captain had him flown out within an hour. As soon as we found an opening for a chopper to come in, uh -huh. our captain had him flown out and we never saw him again. Huh. He had court marshals wasting ammunition and this, you know. Yeah. This kid. He didn't know what he's doing over there. He just shouldn't have been there. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. You see shit like that, too. You know, even though you're a kid, you got to be a man at a certain point. So how long did it, would it take to set up a, what is, would you call it, an uh, ND? NDP? NDP, yeah. Uh, at least a full day. Full day. They used to bring in what they called... <laughs> Rome plows, which would level in an area, you know, in a, in a, in a, <laughs> in a jungle area. Uh -huh. You'd have a little opening, but then the Rome plows, they'd fly in these tractors, which they called Rome plows, you know, kind of level it out. Then it's your job to go out there and dig the bunkers. I mean, you know, dig yourself in six feet, whatever, with firing ports. Yeah. And things like that, so in case of attack, you can, you know, <coughs> stand in your bunker and fire out of these firing ports. <coughs> oh, at least a full day, and then you put the damn tanks, you know, in between, maybe every two or three, stuff like that. Yeah. And that's your protection and your support. How often would uh, would you ever get attacked after setting one of these things up? Yeah, not that often. Not that often, but we had a couple. And the worst one ever, you know, you're going to love it. I think I might have told you this. The worst one ever, and I got a magazine in there that actually explains it because it was a nasty son of a gun. Uh, <clears throat> you know what the operation was called? What's that? Swear to God, this is 1968 or something. Operation Julie. Julie. I am not kidding you. Operation <laughs> Julie, yes. And it was a it was a bad one. Wow. Yeah, we killed. I'll never forget it. We lost like nine guys. We had injured too, but we lost nine guys. <clears throat> I think we killed 130. Here they come. Starts at nine o'clock at night, roughly. They always wait till the evening. Mortar, 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 you know, on our, on us. So you get your goddamn bunker quick. I used to be the best at. I go ahead first in the son of a bitch. <laughs> <clears throat> and uh, yeah, until midnight, about midnight. And then we in front of us for we had a three strand Constantino wire, right? Uh huh. Three strand, two strand, one strand, you know, just tough space. Ah, they come back 10 feet, whatever. Two strand, one strand. Then you come back one strand. But they got through this shit. Ah, <clears throat> ah. These damn NBA guys, ah, they would, the, the, the satchel charges, they blow themselves up. Oh, they, they, they just run in there and blow themselves up so their comrades could get through this wire. And some got through. <clears throat> I happened to be, I don't know, 50 yards to the left of where they got through. And I got to watch my area. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say they, but they got through. Uh, some of them, some of them. Most of them got killed. Wow, yeah. I don't it think was a nasty fucking Operation Julie. I'll never forget it. I could pull out a fucking little, I got a little magazine I got about that, but I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. At times. Not all the time, but at times. How long did the attack go on for? What? How long was the attack going oh, for? About three hours. Three like hours. That. Yeah, we don't wait. <laughs> we had goddamn choppers, you know, the, what do you call it? Uh, choppers coming down, firing down on them, you know what I mean? What do you call those choppers nowadays? Um. <laughs> gun, 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 gun choppers or something. Now they're firing out, and they got lights. <laughs> they're all over you. I mean, there's a, there was a lot of them. Wow. Dude, we were right by the Cambodian border. That's why. Because in that those days, you could not <laughs> go over the Cambodian border. And they, you, you couldn't even bomb over there. You know, when they, they got here, so they would just, <laughs> you know, get themselves together. If we were like a collect, they call it a collect. You know, it's like a kilo or something. Uh -huh. you know, let's say 200 yards or whatever it was from the from the border. But we could not go in there. But at night, they come, they come over. They got no rules like we had. So there was a lot of them, a lot. Yeah. The gunships, that's what they call them. We'd have the helicopters of the gunships, and they had, what the hell they have? They had a plane, too. What the hell they call that? I forgot. Fucking thing you'd shoot. 5,000 rounds a minute. Um, Whatever they called it. It was a plane? It was a plane. <sighs> we had all the, we had all the, the power, you know, the gunfire, everything. You still can't stop these because there's so many of them. Uh, they don't give a shit. That's the thing about them. They don't care. <laughs> Everybody in the United States knows what life's about, and you want to keep your life. Over there, they don't give a shit if they live or not. That's what they, they just don't. Wow. Uh, they don't know what love is all about, do you? I guess. For them, loving is just fighting. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got anything else to say? I'm going to call this one short, 13 minutes. What? I'm going to call this one an end at 13 minutes. You filmed that? Yes. <laughs> Thank you for your participation. We'll do. A shit we can about do that. some more. Yeah, apparently, some people. Just tell my know. story. Thank you. Yeah. Okay.